Now just people away like my country. Now make <clears throat> we come together, we say, okay, because we know they in the country, that no means say we need to go for help uh, as as best we can. <clears throat> you know. Uh, and I make we form this in so in fact as we now notice that like, Creole we don't talk up. We don't go for over two and a half years now, you know. Maybe they talk to her now. Um I don't do the practice, you know. Uh, I do surgery, orthopedic surgery, uh, general surgery, and now for the past 21, 22 years, I did, they do emergency medicine, you know. Um, so then you say, <laughs> possibly they work in, in uh, jack of all trades, <laughs> but master of none. But anyway, then in a debate we go another step. But thank you so much, and to all the papa at this place, uh, a happy Father's Day. And to that end, the 19th of June, now also International uh, Sickle Cell Day. So we will actually talk about sickle cell today, but uh, the first way for talk about that in the now other place, and obviously a bit difficult for lay able for come, can talk to me. So therefore, we decide for talk about this monkeypox, and then in the next two weeks, by God's grace, that person will go for present for we uh, on sickle cell. So <clears throat> the topic we're going to talk on today is like this one where all man are afraid now. What thing you need to know about monkeypox? Now, I don't know if the audience know. I don't please now, man. Let it go. Now, whether the person. Whether the person is Nigerian or not, we don't know. We just know say the person been down visit Nigeria recently when he came. Now he defend uh, this this um, this virus. Uh, so yeah, the first case that Saint Thomas Hospital defend now somebody will come out Nigeria not long ago. Now the first patient patient we then get in this country. From there on now. Uh, the pox virus, this monkey pox, don't they in over 23 countries in the world, and you get over over 2,000 cases already with a non fan. And so, all man they talk say, well, hang on, waiting at this monkey pox. Now, the name pox, now later on now, then Guillaume, but the first name with the ever Gi, na pox, so na P O C C, way na the old English word for this picture when they see now and they left hand. So if you get like we person person born, if like you get the iron and the iron born you. So then the, the skin go get like that blister. Now a blister will full up with pus or tough now and then call a pock. Over the years now it become pox. So monkey pox day and it's very similar to cowpox, it's very similar to uh, smallpox, it's very similar to chickenpox, it's very similar to um, uh, syphilis, and uh, very similar to, as I say, smallpox and measles. And uh, one thing we don't call molluscum contagiosum, where now something will come on at the foot them and the hand them. If you buy like where you get pearl, we get bone at the middle. That now just some of the things that we for consider, you know. For make you know whether not this not the real thing that monkeypox is or not, but we will go on and talk about that. So next slide, please. So a bit about the epidemiology. As I say, the pox virus not DNA one as opposed to the coronavirus. You know, uh, the one that we they see now reservoir them usai the, this virus they hide now them monkey now make them call them monkeypox squirrel them and arata them they rodent them. You know, and obviously zoonotic the means they come up from animal. But they not they they not get no vector. So no particular thing we go say that this nine they transfer them to a mortal man or come out from this or that. And they, they, not, they not for confirm that yet, you know. And of course, the way we, you can spread this thing now by contact. So if somebody get the pox uh, blister, nine boss, then it begin for heal, it begin get cross panam. So the linen where the person they dump if you're not careful where you dispose of them, so in turn, that, uh, that, 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 that powder form the, of the crust, you can inhale them and that can cause, you know, the pox virus by you. 
Now, it can take up to 12 days after you expose to them. So if say you don't come in contact with them or the animal don't bet you or don't catch you or um, you know you don't take care for somebody will get them. Uh, and definitely between uh, 10 to 12 days is not the average, but normally the range is between five to 21 days. So up to three weeks after the exposure, and I forget that, you know. Uh, nowadays, it don't become, this sick now don't become so worrisome, all man they worry about her, that the WHO uh, don't call them a moderate concern illness, because what you do, it don't appear from one country and now within at 23 countries in the world, you know. And then because they find out, say, this sick get some stigma attached to them because then they say the people away, then they find, then defend the sick, but most the people away in a man with a sleep with company man. You got to be very careful when they talk, then talk, then they, because the country will be and the world they and uh, politically, politically correct world. So you got to be really careful. Now I make next week, Thursday, the WHO, uh, World Health Organization, then go meet for decide for change this virus in name. So that in the stigma we attach to them, you know, go begin rub off by the people away in a daily lifestyle and, you know. Um, then, of course, how for treat them, you know. Uh, treat them, of course, this person, when he, when he confirms say he get the sick, he's supposed for day in isolation. Just like how you get the coronavirus, he's supposed for day in isolation up to about two, three weeks, you know. And the only treatment we get for them, that's supportive. You get temperature, you get that. If you get pain, you get painkiller. Then, of course, they get vaccine within the gi, you know, but mostly that the smallpox vaccine in the gi, and they find out, say, 85% of that vaccine, they quite effective for handle this uh, uh, um, monkeypox, you know. Now, obviously, you think, say, well, how about the picking them? Well, the same treatment for the picking them, now, so it turned for the, the big one, there, you know. As I say, smallpox vaccine, uh, and nine they can use, you know. So, uh, well, as we go on, you will go see the difference between uh, the smallpox and, of course, uh, the monkeypox. You know, one of the main thing where you go see the difference is that the the, the lymph node, them, the gland, them within at the neck, at the armpit, at the groin, then they swell with the rash. Whereas with the smallpox, you need to see that. But we will go see as we go on. So, next slide, please. So, th so this one they tell me. Uh, how this thing don't distribute now to the whole world. As you can see, uh, outside the white day, that means not to country where you defend this sick no more. Very, def very difficult for Siam. And then the one way, uh, way that are uh, uh, light green, now you can boss out no more. Now and again, like I boss out to the world now. And then the green one, well, of course, now they, uh, they. So we know say Central African Republic, you know, that's cent Central Africa, that is thinking they most of the time. But we know say uh it can jump and when they jump like how you see so you know we know say salon get them nigeria get them that's for sure you know but not to endemic zone not to zone where they did all the time and of course the red who said they put the red in a place where you know they, they, they're not able to find that yet they're not able to record them but that's what now the team when i go see this now as recent as this year in in may now and then give you this distribution next one please so a bit of the history. Now, as it is, you know, they first discovered this monkeypox in 1958 when they get two outbreak them, you know, uh, in the in the, the monkey then who said then they boku where they keep them for re, for research. And I make the, as I say, then give them the name monkeypox. So they mean they research by the monkey yeah, and then find out say there's this outbreak and uh, 1958. So the first human case uh, in 1970. So you can see about 12 years after, in the Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, nine, you know, uh, the, the, this, this thing can pick up. That, that they tell them they try to eliminate that smallpox. And thanks to that, smallpox not there now in the world. But as you can see, no more smallpox vaccine, nine with the use. The country will there now, they don't get up to 20,000 vials they wait for see if they go use it, you know. So, uh, since that 10 days, since 1958, we don't see um, uh, countries like we own countries, alone, Liberia, Nigeria, you know. Uh, as I say, the first case we know about this, this particular outbreak, now nah, 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 somebody will come on Nigeria. Next slide, please. So, within a monkeypox, now we know see in a sick way, at forget, very rare, 
uh, but the thing with the cause of this monkeypox virus, you know, and the virus, as we know, the DNA virus, it belonged to this family uh, of, of um, orthopox virus and, 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 and pox viride, you know, as I say, pox, then call them because we tend to the blister they follow up with uh, uh, pus and, and tough, and I make them call them pox, you know. Uh, if you watch, you go see, say, the other one, they will include from this family now, small pox, you know, uh, and then cow pox. I've been talk about that as well. So the natural reservoir, uh, nobody don't know. Beside this thing, they hide, nobody don't know, you know. But we know, say, African rodents, them, that not there, arata, then bush arata, then thing, then they squirrel them, uh, monkeys, then can get this virus when a day people then can get infected. Next one, please. So when person catch the sick, um, as I've been saying earlier, the signs them and the symptoms them, then very similar uh, to the one way the person will get smallpox they feel. You know, the monkeypox, they begin with fever, headache, muscle pain, and the person they feel tired, exhaustion, you know. But as I've been telling you earlier on, just now, I see the difference between the smallpox and the monkeypox uh, is that the lymph node and the gland them, the neck, and the armpit, uh, and uh, the groin, then definitely they swell. We not think we not go see with somebody we get smallpox. You know, again, the time where you get exposed to the virus can range between uh, up to three weeks to the time where you begin to develop the symptoms. Next slide, please. Yeah, so that's it. As you can see, the other can swell, as I say, now one day at the neck, one day at the groin, one day at the ampit them. You know, it can be one side or both sides. Next one, please. Right, this is a picture we just to show them. Now, if you watch at the left hand, you can see, say, uh, the monkey box and the small box, how them fever. You can see, say, they get, they both get the headache, they both get the fever, they both get the back pain, they both get the rashes. You know, and of course the temperature, the the, the chills, the uh, triple triple, then get the exhaustion and fatigue. But the lymph node them, that not the one they will swell as we talk just no more. Not the neck, not the ampit them, not the groin, uh, one way or the other. Not, not the monkeypox. So you can tell the difference between them. But when I go see the other picture, then just know where we talk. Next slide, please. So you see, now, look if you look at no more. If you look at that, they quick, you go fit in that chicken box the person gets, you know? But, but this one, you go see and see the, 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 the blister then, they full up with pus, with tough, we make and different. And when you look at the distribution, it's different because we think Sunday way they, and uh, the face more than, than, than the body. Sunday way they, and the foot more than the, the body itself, like the belly and chest day, you know? So when I go see the other picture, just now, then when I go see, how, I want to make I put this is showing that the difference between the black skin and the white skin. If you know, when I can see the difference and how the pork marks them they and how they turn, but you can see the difference as it is. Next one, please. All right. Uh, this I like because he actually tell you how you can differentiate and see my madam, they know it in a chicken pox, as I say, I know more than you can tell. So if you look at the right hand, you can see say chicken pox in your own, it is more than the chest and belly compared to smallpox. Can you see? The smallpox, it is more than the face, than the hand, than the leg. Then. But when you compare the body, the chest, and the belly, you can see say, it is less compared to the chickenpox. That's how you can tell. So they call them central distribution rather than uh, peripheral distribution. The peripheral distribution, which means that, that the link, that the leg, them, and the arm, them. And obviously, you can see say, uh, not the, not the, not the, not the smallpox, and of course the face compared to the chicken pox. Yes, thank you. Next one, please. So uh, the way we the rash they develop, you see them. Um, you get macules, you get papules, you get vesicles, you get pustules, and you get scabs. Now macules, he red, uh, uh, but he flat. Papules, he red, he not flat, he raised. So if you put your hand on you feel them, say this one, something they did, you know. And then of course, from there you go on to vesicles. Now vesicles, now you get, like I say, when you burn your body, you get that blister with the water the inside it, you know. And then that water they now, then they get infected, it become pustule. Now the pustule, as you can see the word P-U-S, that means 
uh, a blister will get pus, we get to tough banner. Then uh, this tough now and this blister, now in the boss, then it begins scab. And the scab now, you know, uh, it will begin heal. And it can heal, then it left some very, very deep scar, you know. So typically, you know, the, the, the sick, sick can last between two to four weeks, you know. As I say no more, the scar then can be really, really uh, deep. We can sometimes cause some disfiguring with some man and woman they know by leg. They can then get for go, uh, you know, uh, go begin get some laser therapy for let the thing come back to win them, you know. So once this cap then don't fall down from the person, this person now not contagious anymore. But for that ten way, the person get then then scab, then they then postule, then they then vesicle, and they in need for dinner host, just like how you they isolate with uh, with coronavirus, definitely. And whatever they, they deal with you, suppose for dealing with you in that way, like how you, they deal with you, but you will get coronavirus, you know. Uh, inside Africa, monkeypox, uh, we would talk about today, don't cause one in ten people, you know, for die. The one they will catch the sick. One in ten people. So if you get hundred people in a wicked jam, he likely, he not necessarily means that it will happen, but he likely say ten people and can die out of a hundred. Next slide, please. So at this, this they show you no more. If you watch, you know, you will see the bottom slide. You know, uh, you get uh, less than twenty-four hours. You can see that one day like that. You know, there. You know, uh, when at the uh, macule. And, and 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 papule, you know, the one we raised. And then of course, after six days, you could see it on posture, you could see the pus, you know. And then of course, by 96 hours, they say, you could see that particular mark, they, you know. And then after nine days, you could see the scab, as it were, where you don't boss, it could begin scab, and that can take up to like four weeks, you see. So it just goes to show you, look at A, Naya, B, Naya, is how you follow up. C now yeah, I begin mul multiply. And then D, look, I begin tense. And that tense now we turn pause. And then E, you see how it heal when it, it boss, and then you know, take it from there, really. So as I say, until he boss, the rash uh, heal, he left the pork mark. That person is still contagious, he still can infect other people. Next slide, please. Yeah, so like everything else when they talk about every sick guy risk factor, you know. Uh, so the, 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 the severity, the seriousness of the illness can depend on, of course, the person, the individual uh, health, how we turn before this sick ketchup, how we turn before something this uh, animal go better, you know, or it go eat the meat, you know. So they actually compare the West African uh, variant versus the Central African, you know, variant, you know, and, and as you can see, they say the West African one, Obviously, the mild illness you can get, mild, you know, uh, disease, and in your own uh, number of deaths less compared to uh, the one we in uh, Central Africa, because now they don't, they endemic that place, they, you know, so if they, if they evolve, if they change, you see, but definitely not the same like how uh, the one we in uh, the coronavirus, where they change all the time, you see, and uh, very, very limited human to human transmission, you know, very few and far between. In fact, for let it transmit from human to human, uh, according to what they say, if the person they breathe, they get for a day with you or coffee, they with you for a long time before you expect that thing to fall up. The only other way you can get out to the human, now when you they deal with them, you they care for the person, and then the scab, in way they in that crust, the crust they put the linen, you shake them, and then you inhale that, then of course you, be, you begin with the cancer. So then three weeks later, you could begin to feel uh, the symptoms, you know. Um, as we're talking about, you know, the human infections with, with the Central African uh, pox virus, um, typically more severe, you know, it was compared to that the way now the West Africa, you know, but the mortality, as I say, very high in the Central African one compared to the, uh, the West African one, you know. Uh, the person-to-person -person spread, that now we mortal man, the person to encompass mortal man, uh, they say the Central African uh, monkey virus, Monkeypox virus, he more likely for cause that than we, you know, West Africa. Next one, please. So that, that this one just show you no more how this thing they pass, you know, uh, this virus can transmit from one uh, to the other, you know, contact with the virus from the animal, like the squirrel, where you see so, or the monkey, you know, 
uh, even if you don't see the skin broke, like for example, you don't know, say you get wound or you get cracked in the in the body, and this thing go, he bet you or maybe he can hear you and things and all that. Then definitely, he likely say it for happen, you know. And of course, we know say if you inhale the crust um, because you care for this person, he likely say go get them. And again, they say the eye them, the nose, the mouth. And I can add to this say one person then don't fan where they fan this um, this this uh, virus that the person in sperm, you know, in a man and then venom. Now whether that's generally how it is, nobody don't know. But this one person with the treat, they find out say it is nine semen, and so that's just for people to understand. Say I do the research, you know, and I get the most recent information on that. Um, again, as I say, for lay mother and person to accompany, it's very difficult. It has to be a good day with the person for a long time, and then 20, 30 minutes conversation once you get up. Large drops. You know, a person they talk to you, this thing they come on I mouth or a cough or sneeze, this thing they come on I mouth. Well it has to be a long, long, long time to let you catch this thing. Otherwise you know they have to no more. You know, uh, as I say, animal, like the squirrel, the monkey, the arata, then can pass them if they bet you, then catch you. And of course above all, the people they left for eat them eat here. Would I remember where the coronavirus may begin? Well no Ebola, I tell you sorry. Ebola, where you begin, they tell us, you know, for eat that bush meat. Ah, so man vex. You see, my grandpa, my granny, been on this thing for years, nothing to do, they're waiting to make me for change. Well, there you go, you know. So, again, that bush meat for the crash or the bet, it can actually cause that. And of course, direct contact with the body fluids of the lesion of that, that, that post day with the pandatin day uh, can actually cause that as well. Again, the bedding, just like I've been telling you no more. Uh, way they care for this person, they can actually pass from one person to another, you know. Uh, I think I don't tell you the fourth part, the way they end, and I don't tell you that. So, you get to be a long time with you and the person they face to face for let this thing actually happen, you know. Next slide, please. So, the as I say, nobody don't know who done the reservoir host. You know how this thing they they did this with non that this put that this monkey or a squirrel or or, or, or a rata in, in body, you know. Uh, but then feel say the African rodent when a day arata, nine them feel say they play part by this transmission. Uh, as I say, not two ten no more for all these years from 1958, nine they don't get this virus with the cause monkeypox, you know, from uh, an animal in nature, you know. Uh, as I say, in the first instance, 1985, they recovered this uh, from uh, somebody from a rodent, a squirrel, who had been well in the equator, uh, the equatorial region of the Democratic Republic of Congo. The second one, in 2012, where they recovered them from a, a, a die mangabe. I don't know if I don't hear that word. Mangabe, a type of monkey. We then find uh, a Thailand National Park. They call it Thailand National Park, but now Cote d'Ivoire, now Ivory Coast, now in that in the day. Uh, now they then find them. So then to tell you, 1985 and 2012, now in them find this uh, thing where they're not from an animal in nature. Other than that, they've not been able to find that yet. Next slide, please. So this now picture, we just show you no more how this thing happened. As you can see no more. You see, if you watch, you go see. Uh, the animal then there, you know, how it spreads, now this, the arata, and then how it they do them, you see. Either it bet you, or it crutch you, or you decide to say you want to eat that bush meat, you know. And that now primarily how this thing, they carry on, how mainly people, they catch this sickness. And then of course the other bit, now how mortal man, they catch them from incomplete mortal man. You know, so through close contact with infection, uh, from the respiratory tract where they talk to you or you know uh, the skin lesion them that uh, the, the the blister them with the non turn post them boss then the person they change the linen you know they get for inhaler as we say this picture just they confirm which i've been not saying next slide please so how you go prevent them well if you watch you see avoid avoid isolate practice and use so avoid contact with the animal then we can actually get this um, 
this this pox, this virus pandemic, you know, um, is very important for avoid them, you know. So if they don't, if you find a monkey or a squirrel or a rat away die, please, please, please do avoid them. Especially if you don't see this area around this area, you know, avoid contact with any material, like for example, the bedding, you know, um, uh, uh, where the person don't they uh, in contact with, where don't they don't bath, or, uh, you know, uh, if the bedding don't come in contact with the sick animal, then we can get them pet and then that was then of course you get for try and avoid them. Well, isolation, we talk about that already. In like how they isolate for the COVID-19 pneumonia. So you go for isolate for this one. And whoever they deal with you now also be really careful. If they can't win a hospital, we get for approach them with this PPE, the full protection. You get the visor within a UI, you get the cap, you get the gown, you know, you get the glove them. Uh, we go go approach and then we don't do for do with them. You actually they pull them in the safest way possible, you know, before you sanitize yourself. Uh, practice well, of course. They say practice good hygiene. You know, after contact with any infected animals, then they will like animal the, the veterinary people. Um, you know, or you don't need the care for somebody with the within your family. We don't catch this. You know, you have to be really uh, careful. So you need for practice good hard hygiene. And of course, uh, wash your for wash your hand them with soap and water, and then of course use your hand sanitizer. You know, again we don't talk about PPE. You know, the personal protective equipment. As I talk, I know more. When you do care for them, patients, yeah, you can for definitely use them. Other than that, you they risk exposure to this thing, and then you can contact them. Next slide, please. So infection control. Well, as I say, not to all man need for come now hospital. You know, yeah, not all man need for come now hospital, you know. Uh, but if you're able to isolate this patient, you know, uh, it depends on the following factors. If the patient na picking on a, na big person, you know, the presence of additional infection uh, or uh, uninfected persons or pets in the home. So if you get pet then a host, you get uninfected people in the host, or you get other possibly, you know, get the same sickness. Then of course that in the they differ from one to the other, you know. And of course, how bad the lesion yeah, does scatter at the body. If not just na the face no more than they, uh, that now one thing, but if they don't envelop the whole body, uh, then definitely you have to be really, really careful uh, in terms of maybe no do am now host, but let the patient go na uh, infectious diseases center. Next slide, please. Yeah. So if now host you there. You get for isolate the patient, as we say. He says, I get for isolate, you know. Uh, people away get then too much, you know, lesion on them. Obviously, it's difficult for able for cover up, you know. Pass no more. The only way in an exception, pass the one way in the face, you know. But of course, they can weep. They can, they can, they can actually leak a lot of pus, you know. Then people they can get like exhaustion, shortness of breath. They can cough, they get sore throat, run your nose. Uh, of course, the need for day in a room or an area separate from the rest of the family members them as 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 best as possible you know people away get monkeypox uh, not for left the host except uh, they require for go na the medical center for some care other than that they're supposed for dinner host you know uh, and of course we always advisable for avoid uh, contact with the wild animal them or domestic uh, mammal them if possible uh unexposed person them then are people away not get the, 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 the sick or not get the virus uh do not need an essential uh you know uh, do not have an essential need uh for dinner host and uh and then of course it's important for le, you know visit that person there because he likely says on them you will contact and we not even know to take get a cut finger or a cotton or something where you don't know say so you get and then the, the, the virus going to them. You know. Uh if the household member them, like how we can talk about the COVID-19, the bubble, not the host. If they're not sick, then of course they get for limit the contact within the make with this person we get this monkeypox. You know. And of course, if the person they will know well, they pet them, now for pull them come on at that area, they will say this person will sick they. Because the pet then can contract them, and then of course it becomes a bigger problem. Yeah. Next slide, please. 
Okay. So again, we talk about the host, you know, as you can see, uh, that PPE what they talk about, you know, important, forget that, you know, uh, the patient then for wearing this surgical mask, you know, especially then the way they cough and sneeze and short of breath, you know. Uh, of course, sometimes when I pick in, you know, go for do that, you know, uh, but of course, the other members of the family for consider that as well. Then, of course, you get the glove, then when I dispose of one, them, you know, if you get direct contact with the lesion, then with the, beside the, the team, if you, uh, you know, crocro -cro and things like that, then you get for dispose of them in the best way possible, very in a clinical waste, so therefore you're going to be really, really particular. Otherwise, you just scatter them to other people, you know. And then, of course, uh, the people that get this uh, lesion, them, that now, then, 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 then blister, yeah, then definitely need for cover up. So you can get like long sleeve, short, uh, long, long trusses, you know, for minimize the risk of other people them, for catch the, the sickness, you know. Um, and we talk about this already. So when you get a dressing and bandage, where they dispose of, and you have to be really, really careful. You know the the, the state uh, of the country, uh, the, the the government of the country, or the Department of Health, or the local, you know, govern government can actually tell you how to dispose of them. But whatever you do, no put them in a dump, no put them in your own bin, not yours, because all you do is just scatter the sickness to the person them, not yours. Next slide, please. Yeah. So again, you know, this nothing way just to repeat itself, you know. Uh, important for me to know say this thing, you only go allow for let you go outside if this uh, scab this 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 uh, lesion then don't well, you know, and of course new layer of, of skin don't form pandem, you know. Uh, if after the, the, the discontinuation of the isolation, so in like uh, 21 days or four weeks, uh, then say the patient supposed to avoid contact with people and weigh their immune system weak until all the, 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 the lesion then done well, all the crust, all the uh, crash crash in the, 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 the powder in there all done well before then go allow you say, okay, let go contact with uh, immune or compromise. Somebody weigh immune system weak because the person get immune system weak, weak it's possible to say you can catch that from you. And that is why they say avoid them kind of people in there. If they're dinner host, put them in a separate area compared to outside the mandate. It's as simple as that. Next slide, please. So when they come to win a hospital, exactly, we just talk about that, you know, proper hand hygiene, you know, uh, and of course, uh, uh, when they deal with the environment, when they then go there in isolation, obviously not all man go good there. And when you go there, you get your full PPE. You know, if you go for gold, uh, look after the, the, the lesion them, where they change the dressing, there's a specific way you go do it, you know, where you know go spread the infection according to the local government guidelines or regulations. You know, uh, this is very important. The laundry, like where they do the 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 you know, you know, wash, the bedding, the towel them, and of course the clothes the way the person get. Remember, avoid contact with the lesion. If you do arm, cover your face, cover your nose get the a glove them, put them separate from everybody you own, and then you know, a high temperature and take it from there. You know, not shake them at all. Because if you do shake them, that thing they can go down your nose and it can cause that, you know. Yeah. Um, use clean equipment and then reprocess them accordingly, you know. Uh, you go for ensure, say, the procedure, the way they do, uh, you know, then go for day in place so that uh, the cleaning and disinfection and uh, environmental surfaces where they work, like then uh, outside them, then top them, the outside computer, then they, you know, outside the medicine, then they, they cover them and all of, all that, then they therefore need to be cleaned, you know, nicely so that you go prevent any kind of possibility of getting the infection, you know. Um, and of course, the sanitation paramount in this particular situation, yeah. Next slide, please. Yeah. So we talk about the treatment already. As I say, this one not too much. You know, they not get no one treatment. So I can tell them that there's no treatment, no day we go say na monkey pox in treatment this. But they don't talk say um, the smallpox vaccine would then be used uh, for you know get rid of smallpox. In your own, eighty five percent effective. Now I make America don't pile up over uh, fifty thousand vials 
England don't pile up over 20,000 vials. And so then they consider now for user, as I say. Now that's the only thing we can go use. Apart from that, now then, uh, what do you call them now? Uh, uh, just uh, supportive treatment, like when somebody get temperature, you know, uh, you give on somebody uh, something for bring the temperature. Somebody get pain, you give them for the pain. If you get infection, you give them antibiotics when a broad spectrum antibiotics. But mainly that supportive treatment, and then of course uh, give the vaccine uh, if the person uh, you know allow for take them or the person agree for take them. Next slide, please. Again, this just the tell me no more. Uh, the one that we then don't they use, you know, then get immunoglobulin vaccine here, you know, VIG. We then can use uh, like the US, you know. But other than that, no specific one, no day, uh, we go tell you saying that this is use for monkeypox. We're not hundred percent, no. Next slide, please. So yeah, again, this is just this one they talk about just the vaccine. Then no more, you know. They get different different one them way then they use, but mainly the smallpox one and this vaccine here, immunoglobulin, and then find out say uh, then go use. Now with the 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 vaccine here, immunoglobulin and the, the live virus, you know, just like how the yellow fever uh, and dengue fever you know, the live virus. So they only get to picking them. They only they get to people that are eighteen years and older because sometimes it can cause a problem. Uh, you know, get a high uh, uh, incidence of side effects, and only when they find out that this person get high risk of uh, uh, smallpox, you know. Nine, then go say then give them, but other than that, nine, they give them. So as I say, the smallpox virus uh, in, in vaccine, now eighty-five percent effective in this particular situation. Next slide, please. Yeah, so that that it was just to talk about the treatment and all the different different things. Next one, please. Yeah, again, you see the VIG we talk about. Um, it's just the taking them all, uh, then they use them. Um, uh, for prophylactic use in somebody that not, not something for prevent the infection but if somebody get uh, immune deficiency like somebody will get cancer somebody go hiv somebody get um uh, 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 you get tb you know uh then kind of then they definitely they can always say probably better for prevent that for happen than for allowing for making happen ways until you go cause a problem especially if you get problem with the in, in, in chest, you know, because most of the time people are with immune de deficiency, then pneumonia or water infection nine can cause them death. So somebody will get immune deficiency is always important for consider whether they go and that or not. Next slide, please. So uh, this is just me reference them. You know, there's a lot more, but this is the one they have is important for this. And uh, next slide, please. Well, this one I for just thank you now for all that you now do, as you now can see, now seven different languages. Then, then the way, alhamdulillah, I can probably say I can hold me on there, you know. But thank you so much. I will stop so far and um, ready and happy for answer any questions to the best of my ability. Thank you so much. And apologies for the uh, technical issues in the beginning. Okay. And I thank you, thank you, Mr. Budem. Um, thank you very much, um, Dr. Kama. Um, and once more apologies for the technical glitch at the beginning. Um, now the time for questions. Um, if you sabi use the function within the tool, uh, within Zoom, um, you can use them for ask you questions, or you can issue an up. If I see you, then I will go to you. Um, the first question, um, Dr. Kama. Um. Somebody, Mommy Sisi, they ask, see, within uh, the meaning of script, what type of treatment is that? Script? Uh, yeah, I'll go back on the slide and see if I can find um, on that treatment. Mommy Sisi, you want to ask a question? You want to uh, unmute you? Uh, let's see if I can find out. Mommy C Mommy C I don't mute him uh, if you want to ask a question. Let's see if I can with you to be asked. Um, uh, good evening, sir. Hello, man. Yeah, um we've been getting outbreak in like our home, uh, uh, scabies, uh, uh, recently. Mm. But 
it's like the manager send this information to the staff say all the work day, whether you get it or not, they say for ask your doctor for a script, something like that. So really, and that that's make a decide for ask the question because yesterday I they feel this my right hand and I the scratch I'm thinking I mean I mean next year. I don't know because it's like we then like that um there's small pox, all the sickness in the all we don't take them vaccine and they were small, small, small back home. But really I don't know because because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mingle myself with the staffs there, with the work there, so so there I can talk, I can meet, mix with the residency there. So I don't know because they, yesterday we were come Kakam my hand, this my right hand. I don't know if you him, but I not been get today to safely. Right. But yeah, I've been telling the managers, if you not get no symptoms, I say okay. If you not get no symptoms, no, no need for what, worry about that. Who symptoms we you you the worry about or which thing that you worry? Well, no, my skin they scratch. Like right. my hand so now, yeah, my right hand. Uh -huh. So as at the scratch, I'm again, I guess more bump, 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 then the right, yeah. But it, but it, okay. Now, I don't know <clears throat> whether I'm the right thing. I, I understand, yeah. What but then call as scabies and say outbreak well, of scabies. Well, yeah. the scabies, scabies is not to the same as monkeypox. Uh -huh, monkey that, yeah. That's not one thing, yeah. Uh, if you look at the, the scabies, that's the way they crash, and mainly when you look between the finger, them. You go see that the typical, you know, when you crash out, you go see that borrow uh, where they say that the, the might where they cause the scabies now under there, you know. So I think the script where they talk about, we can call and script uh, now, now because now prescription now we can call so script. Uh -huh. now, you, now, now you they talk about, you know, uh, all right. now you they talk about so script. So they say go get a script mm -hmm. from the doctor because oh, they God. want you to get that prescription and then get that uh, that thing that they can give for help with uh, the, 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 the 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 scabies. Now, of course, uh, when you get that, you get for think about not only yourself but the whole of the family. And if yeah. your residents then get that, then of course they get for think about the the bedding, you know, and all that thing. And of course, if, because if they crash, you get for get like a, an antihistamine and things, you know. Because if you get infected, so you go add antibiotics by now. But mainly, then get that particular thing you can use. Uh, we we nine the the help against the scabies. It's important for make you know that. So the script, what do you mean? Not just a prescription, and that's, that's it. Prescription, yeah, okay. that's it. So if the hands well, it is important for make you uh, see the GP and find out whether mm. you need uh, for get um, maybe antibiotics because until you don't catch them, you don't wound, and then uh, inside that small crash there, that wound there, the box they don't go inside and then don't cause you uh, an infection around the area. So probably because until you need antibiotics. But I would say, see the GP, see what he said to that and take it from there. But but with yeah, the, yeah, with, the, with, the, with the with the with uh, the scabies, definitely 100 mm -hmm. percent And uh, top you know, until we just put in the body. And of course, if they crash, you get antihistamines, if you get infected, you know, you get antibiotics, and that's that really. But not to just for you, now for the whole family. So yes, yeah. that's involved, that another. And of course, remember, for wash then linen then they. It's absolutely vital because if you don't do that, it's thing just to go in cycle. And that's why it make escapees can difficult for treat. You know, mm. and then talk there with me anyway. So <laughs> Ingo maybe uh, highlight something more. But as far as I know, that script they make. Yeah, but the whole residents, uh, they say to the staff, they all they need the treat and they. But yeah. we don't even get from until yesterday. Yeah. You see, because from, yeah. see, it, don't, it don't happen. We don't get the outbreak since last week. So they send message to me. But I tell them, say, I'm not getting those symptoms more until yesterday now. Mm. So, work more, work there, I come, I begin to feel my hand, my, ne my neck. So, now I just wa uh, wash with medicated soap. Mm. You see? Yeah, and well, the, 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 the prescription that you go get from the GP. We no, no, yeah, I don't send message to her, definitely. Yeah, no question. Because, yeah, I don't, they, I don't try to talk to them, but I they, now they say, if I get the symptoms, laugh or we take a photo, I send them to them. But mm. I say, I don't get no photo. I say, well, 
for that lad just prevents me safe. So like what they go walk away, gloves, mask, everything is in the but I do I'm bad. No, no, why because I can't. Anyway. No yeah, man, no worries. It will get better. Yeah. That's for sure. Mm, yeah. yeah. But you just need to protect yourself and the whole of the family. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, Thank you. Doctor. You've been left one slide away for some reason. The content's not being upload. Yeah. And if you look I, at, I don't know why yeah. that happened. Yeah, the, the, the treatment, if you angle through All right, right, okay. As I say, you know, the, again, uh, antivirals and then the, you know, the uh, Cidofovir and Brindo, Brindo Cidofovir, you know, uh, they don't know how effective the children they, you know, uh, they uh, for treat uh, monkeypox as it were. But we need for mention, I'm saying, then, then get dandy anyway as an alternative, you know. Again, the other one that I take very much, you know, the ST246, you know, again, um, data not the way available for talking about the efficacy or the effectiveness of, you know, uh, but for me, the, the smallpox virus, you know, definitely uh, one of the one way, you know, say 85%, you know, effective in, 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 in treating monkeypox. There's no questions about that. And when they all, nobody will know waiting at the percentage rate of them, you know. So that's all there is to it, you know. Okay. Yeah, so we just want to go through that number because yeah, we no, that's all right. Out. Okay, um the next question now uh, from um Mr. Edward Usman. Um Anne and Brian, I'm coming to you guys in a bit. Um he say if there's any way where we go even know, see a pet or an animal is infected, and if that's the case, what's the possible prevention? Well, they say they, yeah, we don't talk about the prevention in that the case is that uh, if you know, say the pet, I make them get the veterinary uh, um, um, veterinary uh, uh, surgeons, them and you know, veterinary people, them. We can look into that, they can test them and then find out whether that's the case or not. The fact remains simple though that if the if the if the the pet will you get, obviously, you know, say well, because Nigerian country, yeah, especially in England, you know, then they go through. This the vaccine that, that book, you know, then go through each and every one of them. So obviously, you don't expect that for happen. Now. Yeah, most of the sick they want to talk about now imported sick, you know, and then they just break out. Like this one we'll talk to the first case, na na Nigeria the person go, and an imported case definitely not to one way happen. Now. Yeah, and from then on it don't begin scatter as you as I say you get up to two thousand now in the world when uh twenty three countries, you know, but the fact remains simple. The animal, they mostly them well. However, if at all, you know, say somebody not well at the horse, the way for prevent that for happen to the animal is get the animal away from there. You know, that's not one thing. The, the signs and symptoms by the animal, I can't tell you because we didn't do, <laughs> the animal that they can't can present to you in the A&E department. I mean, not a veterinary surgeon, so I can't tell you how they feel. I just know, say, uh, if he bet you, if he crutch you, yeah, or you eat a meat, like how we probably do, you know, that big, big, then thing, then day, <laughs> not wanting to be personal. Well, obviously, likely say if you're infected, you go catch that sick day. Or likely for catch the sick. Because not to, then they say, because if you eat the meat, that means you will get them. But the likelihood is higher than somebody who will not eat the meat. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, Alan Boyan. Hello, Dr. Kamara. Thank you Hello. for that. Um, the question I want to ask is, is the, the monkey pots more severe than the other virus, the COVID? Say, say again, the monkey pox is what? Is the monkey pox yeah. more dangerous. dangerous than the COVID? Um, I would say no. That's the short answer. Right. And why, why, why? does it take so long uh, for you to isolate? Well, because, because once you get it, you then, as you saw the stages of the development of the rash, you know, yeah. and, and it's funny how there was a case where uh, one person didn't develop the rash at all, but was feeling really unwell. And so... Uh, if you go just by the rash, sometimes it may be atypical where 
you can't get the rash and that doesn't mean the person hasn't got the monkeypox. So one thing you've got to bear in mind is that there's a multitude of, uh, if you like, um, symptoms and signs. And of course, when you do the blood test, that's when you can say this person has got it, you know. And, and, and then once you got that, you can then get the person to isolate, you know. Uh, but the fact remains simple. Because the monkeypox is a DNA virus, yeah, when it replicates, it, 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 it is steady. It doesn't make that many mistakes uh, compared to the coronavirus, which is an RNA virus, you know. And so the RNA virus, uh, it, when it replicates, it makes a bit of, I mean, that's the simplest way I can explain it to you. It makes a lot of mistakes, and so therefore it changes, you know. And when it changes, it then becomes a bit of a problem because you then, cannot use uh, the, the, the one vaccine that you thought was applicable and effective, you know, in this particular variant to use it for the other one because you've got alpha, beta, gamma, and delta, you know, and you have the sub-variants, you know, that have been Omicron and delta and blah, 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 and the rest of it. So I'd say uh, the fact that uh, the coronavirus is spread via droplets, yeah, it's a lot more dangerous because it spreads like wildfire. Everybody talks to you. Everybody breathes, you know. Whereas with this, it's mainly, as I say, three ways. Either there's a scratch or there is a bite or there is the consumption of the meat, which is infected. And fourthly, human to human, which is very rare. There has to be an, a prolonged exposure of about 30, 40 minutes, you know, for you to say, and of course, the, the last one is possibly the uh, uh, when you're dealing or when you, you're caring for someone who has got it. And obviously from the linen and the rest of it, you then contracted it and, uh, you know, take it from there. But, but that's, that's the essence of it. And also, how painful can it get? Oh, it's very painful. I, I must admit, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a blister filled with pus. Yeah. So it's really painful. And as I say, especially if it's in the, the most sensitive areas, you know, like the fingers, the toes, the face, and all of that, where you have tons of nerves innovating that area. So you've got to be really uh, careful. And that's why they need, you know, some strong painkillers, you know, yeah. tender loving care. And of course, whilst doing so, you have to protect yourself. And of course, yeah. with the infection, you'd have to have antibiotics on board as well very strong ones, you know, broad spectrum antibiotics as well. So, so A is a painful one. There's no question. That. And of course it lasts for up to six weeks, you know, and so it's definitely a nuisance. There's no question yeah. about that, yeah. you know, and at all, in all of that period, you're still contagious. Therefore, you'd have to be isolated for some time, wait for those to heal before you can venture out really. Yeah, because you, your isolation is longer. Yes. The yeah, because because of the because of the stages of the rash. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Mara. Thank you, Thank so you very much, much Pam. Thank, Thank you. you, Edward. You still ask question or you do ask already on the text? Yeah. Um, I will appreciate uh, Mr. Kamara, Dr. Kamara, in presentation based on the monkeypox. So I, I just have to have a question with um, the host the answer. Uh, the infector would identify the infected pet, you know, and the treatment. So you don't explain about the treatment, but I wonder about the infection, kind of one. Because in Sierra Leone, because of Sierra Leone now, in Sierra Leone, we've got so many pets them, uncontrollable, they're not control. They see dog there, the man, the monkey, fall. So how do they know infected ones, kind of one? Again, the next question again. Uh, we talk about you, 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 you compare um, this other sick, uh, I don't call this a sticking pot, sticking pot and uh, monkey pot. Um, you think you want to know now the symptoms, how, how you did that, you know, differentiate the symptoms because like salon, sticking pot, plenty in a plenty in a salon. So, Somebody can get in our own house, and if you have to be careful, the whole family they get them back. So this is one question. I give you no know between the monkeypox and the chickenpox because I'll get you the explanation actually. But I just I wanted the difference because even the chickenpox they get a headache. 
you can't even get around before. So you get a headache, you feel hot. You know, as well as monkey pox, I didn't see you get a headache. You know, I just wanted to compare it in between that. Then again, next question number three. Um, um, why make you can pop it spread easily? Why make it spread easily? Okay. Because it's easy for in a family. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, like you say no more, um, <laughs> Mr. Akuma. Um, your first question, maybe the answer I'm already is say you know to vet. Um, the only people who will answer as to which are the symptoms they would be in an animal or pet. We get um, a monkeypox. Um, you get for be a vet, and then we will tell you which are the symptoms. All we think he will tell you is how a mortal man I go you get able to know uh, which are the things that will cause I'm a mortal man. However, for the next two questions, I will leave them to Dr. Kamara for answer. Or if any of the doctor, other doctors in want um, um, come in, please let me know. Dr. Kamara? Yeah, the, the second one is say uh, uh, chicken pox, uh, they in a saloon plenty, and that mm -hmm. it is scatter in the family and the rest of it. And yeah. they want for no. One, they want for no the difference. difference. Box and the chicken box, box. Yeah. And, the, and the monkey box, right? Yes, another okay. question. The third yes. one. It's why make chicken pox is spread so easily where one person gets on a family on a house, it is spread across everybody else or anybody within okay. coming. Right, well, I mean, as I say, uh, chicken pox, obviously, <laughs> they, they spread very, very fast. Again, because of the blister them. You know, if you find out, one thing we people like you always overlook is that chicken pox, now picking sick. Yeah, so mainly in childhood, now they get expect to get chicken pox. Chicken pox in the adult, in the big person, <laughs> illegal. I can tell you that. <laughs> you know, that's really bad. There's no questions about that. It can cause a lot of problems in the adult. So now I make, in fact, they get that children called chicken pox party, where one person in the street get them. They can call all the picking them for can 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 together, then get them and then get <laughs> them and then, <laughs> then scatter. You know what I mean? That's it. At the end of it, that, yeah, because they go through them easy. But in the adult, Papa, I tell you what, it's a very dangerous thing. There's no question about that. Again, now I make you see according to the guidelines, the picking when you get chicken box, not supposed for go na nursery, not supposed for go na school because what you do is still infectious. Yeah, until the blister them way gets don't cross and the cross don't they you know get uh, completely um, like healed. Now that go make them say, okay, go back. Normally they can say five days, you know, five to seven days after the cross, then you can go now to school. Other than that, they say, let you keep an oath. You understand? Again, the same way they, they transmit through that, that fluid, the way they come out from the cross. There's no questions about that. The, the difference here, though, is that the monkey pox, mainly not to, not to pick in the cage. It can catch picking, but not to pick in the cage. Monkey pox are more the adult, you know what I mean? Because now we go, go, and then the pet scratch you. I mean, I don't know who that gets pet arata. I know some people and get them. You know what I mean? Would I get pet uh, uh, squirrel? You know, would I get pet monkey where he can bet you or scratch you? Or better still, then kill them, then cook the, the meat, you know, and then they can make the things transfer. You know what I mean? From the animal to the person. And of course, it could take uh, up to 21 days. Whereas with the chicken pox, it's very shorter than that. It's definitely shorter. There's no questions about that. The time between the exposure to the uh, 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 bug or, or the, infect, the, you know, the infective element, the virus, to the time where the first rash come out. Again, another thing, the distribution of the rash. So if you look at the rash, you understand? The chicken pox is only more than the chest and the belly compared to the monkey pox. As I show you, the monkey pox is similar to the smallpox. I mean, if you ask me the question about smallpox, because smallpox is on, yeah, the, the, that's it. That's it. If you watch this, you see the smallpox and chickenpox? If you watch na, the hand them, you watch na, the leg them, you can see the difference between the picture that you right hand with chicken chickenpox and the picture that the left hand with na, smallpox. Well, the smallpox and the monkeypox, they're similar. The only difference is that the monkeypox get swelling of the glands them na the neck na the armpit them na the groin left and right or both sides 
Can, can you see the difference? I don't know if this is the answer to the question. So, yeah. so the, the chicken pox you on mainly, yeah, that's it. You can see the swelling of the lymph nodes, then, you know, na the neck, na the, na the, na the, na the groin, and that they ampit them, you know, which is not which you they get from the smallpox. I don't know if that if that helps for answer because when you see something, you can then yeah yeah yeah. It. yeah yeah yeah. The only thing no more uh, nah. just, uh, we <clears throat> based on what you say is that yes, as much as adults them now we can normally get pets uh, more well now this side of the world. Um, for the one in back home, you don't say pets when they get a like, family thing basically. Um, when they get them, not just the family no more they keep them. But if you can play with the around there as well, can normally play with the animal in there. Now, if the uh, if they can't play with the animal there, the animal they get them. Most likely, you know, picking can be very annoying. Uh, when you can't to animal. So if you catch the picking, is there no chance the picking will get them? Yeah, 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 of course, of course. If you watch the presentation, you can see that I talk about the picking them as well. The difficulty here is for control the picking a lot more difficult than controlling the adult when they get the symptom. Okay. That, that's the thing. But you don't mean, say, uh, if the thing crash, the picking, you know, get them. No. Of course, you likely forget them. There's no question about that. If the pet infected, now make them say, isolate. Keep the pet them away from the family, you know. And, of course, keep the person where you get the sickness or the, the rash and all that in, in your place, at least one side of the, the house compared to the other day, you know. That's how it is. Now, prevention, preventative, it's as simple as that. Okay. Uh, yeah, come on, come on. Um, I'll give one more question. Yeah, go, go. Uh, mostly, mostly for the pregnant woman, them. Right. You know, so the beginning will be affected. Yeah, hey, good any... question. I I don't know whether I mean I must be honest with you. As I say, me not to microbiologist, me not to immunologist, uh, but I know who say uh, chicken pox definitely we always advise um, if the woman gets belly you know, make it try and avoid that, you know, no less if you don't get chicken box where it's small because definitely they get some immunity, you know, but we can always advise for avoid um, that, 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 that particular situation where you didn't mix with the picking because the baby can be at risk at some point. There's no questions about that. So avoid and uh, prevention is better than cure. Now that and one thing why no, there's no questions about that, you know, but if the mommy don't get the chicken pox, you know, the likelihood is that you know, possibly, but we always can actually say, uh, you know, try and avoid that. Now, I make mean, we can say if this woman not don't get chicken pox where he's small, uh, then somebody come with chicken pox. Now we on the hospital to win the A and E. We can always say no go to that patient. Do you hear what I mean? No go to that patient too because clearly it likely say you can get you know cause infection and things. So therefore, avoid that. Let somebody else we go don't get chicken pox in the past. Go go see the patient and then take it from there. Thank you very much, Doctor Command. The, the last the last one not in not the list. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, is yeah, it, it, it out of it's 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 out of topic? Yes, sir. I sorry. just want a part of the history of uh, monkey pop. It start na DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo. Then you look at uh, Corona. We come, uh, I mean uh, Ebola. We come at Saloon. It's a funny same thing. It start from DRC. Why always DRC? I don't know. <laughs> Topic. You know, yeah. our, our, the history of uh, it's a good question. As I say, we, we get you know uh, what we call endemic zone, it's similar to salon with uh, Lassa fever. You know, uh, when you talk about the high risk of Lassa fever, uh, you get a more salon than you get in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Now, obviously, Ebola, na viral hemorrhagic fever. Now and then you get four types. You get the Freiburg, the Marburg, the Ebola, and I think the fourth one with nice if I don't remember now because it's okay. But anyway, uh, uh, I, I can't tell you why in particular you get Ebola in uh, Central uh, African Republic at the same time you get monkeypox. Day. Possibly not just the environment. Maybe they get a lot more of them kind animal than they. Maybe the bat them, the arata them, the squirrel them and things and all that. Possibly. Uh, that it's in that, but I can't tell you demographically why that not the case. All we know is that when they discover them, and then discover them. Now, if there's anything that we didn't at that place, they I'm not going to tell you because me not walk at that place and I don't know exactly how the epidemiology there around that region day. But it's a good question and something we'll get for probably uh, research on and talk to Professor Piot, Peter Piot, 
we now in discover Ebola. You know, so, so tell me, you go tell you a bit more about the terrain. You can go tell you a bit more about uh, what in the, in the soil or what in we make uh, this particular region is more prone to the kind of outbreak than they. Okay. So I hope Silani answered the question, but at some point, if we get any answers to your question, because to be honest, like a good question where in, um, we don't know exactly why make that region day, we seem for they get few of the entire commodity. Um, but once the doctors can find out, um, if anybody, because there are a few of them on the panel at the moment, if they find out, any of them find out, at one of the sessions, they will go see within they end up, you know, um, find out, okay? The family, then, on a thank you, thank you. Um, unfortunately, we don't run after time. I know see a few people go and ask more questions, but yeah, um, when I use the phone number and ask questions that way, they, but um, unfortunately for today, we don't run out of time. So what I will do, I will go around with a panel of doctors them and ask for the last word. Um, then we go finish for the day. So um, Dr. Ture, may you go start with, please? You get any last word for people there? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Kamara, for a very great presentation. Uh, you answer all the questions then. You know, I'm sure the uh, people there will satisfy the answers that we give, you know, uh, it goes with in detail. So thank you so much. Uh, at least we don't learn about monkeypox. Uh, we don't know the difference with, with the chickenpox and the scabies and, and all the rest. So uh, thank you. Thank you all for Unaka uh, listening. Uh, that one will ask about that scabies question. Uh, just for let you know, say when they get treatment, let it make sure say like one whole family be treated, not just him. When you exposed to scabies, whether I get symptoms or not, you forget the treatment. So then I make the telephone get script so that go get um, permethrin. And when they apply them, if we apply them from head to toe, it left them for one or 12 hours before it wash off. So we don't do that one day, then the, the GP will tell her. After one week, you get for repeater. And then that itching will still continue. That don't mean say you still get the, the thing. So when GP will explain more to them, but the, the take home message for her is, when you don't get that day and then bomb bomb the nine finger, you don't already get a one whole family for it treated. So uh, thank you all for now. can listen to this um, presentation. In two weeks' time, we'll get another one. I hope soon we can join me back and we'll ask for the people to join. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Tuye. Um, Dr. Bell? Yes, Dr. Kamara, thank you very much for um, um, for this topic. This um, topic where everybody looked at and this is freed because they feel say we don't come from one pandemic with some pandemic, but the probability for make multi monkeypox some pandemic is it's 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 um it's um it's rare. Yeah, um a good save the people and they and then they then they find that out and they for them um, and good so we get a um, platform like this where they actually um discuss and for tell people and say um yes there is something called monkeypox and it's important for me you know about hygiene how for for be isolated if you get them and also for um tell people and say okay when i'm not afraid i'm like i want to be afraid like i want to be afraid and corona so thank you dr Kamara, for that talk and um as dr to talk and Dr. Kamara said for six in two weeks, I to say that that's also very, very important for for your people in that alone and about sickle cell as well. I also say thank you to the host. We can always forget we host for Tankam because um, this program doing the flyers and doing um, and the, the link and everything are the important magic man can do one the and thank you for that um, because without without um, this program not go day like I did. so so thank you very much for that. As yeah, people, yeah. well body, better patients. Thank you very much, Dr. Bell. And uh, Dr. Kama, any last one for people? Yeah, I, mean, I just want to uh, pay particular uh, homage to Mr. Koroma. You know, the free tongue, do ya? I hope say so you don't enjoy this uh, session. The last one you turn up, you enjoy the asthma. So this time you turn up for the monkeypox, and I can say 
you're very active. So we're grateful for that. Now, we want people like you for to join this program, you know, uh, so that spread the word, like how you enjoy a normal for other people, them obviously join and let themselves benefit from them. Now, that now we own uh, suggestion to you for let you do that, you know. Another thing I noticed, uh, Mr. Dabo Cam, that's very good. Today, you don't say nothing. Well, never mind. Maybe the next one, they go say something. <laughs> and then they pick on you, Mr. Dabo, but it's good to have you on board, you know. Uh, respect to all the other members. I see my family members. I see Dr. Toure, you know, the Kuruma family and all that. And they, they're really good. I, I appreciate when I time with we. Uh, this team, obviously, this monkeypox, it don't they cause, you know, problems. Even the WHO, don't they scratch it the now? They try to find out, oh my God, what do do? Because this team, they don't move them from mild, it they now to moderate because what do they get clusters of them. Um, and we just they get round to to you know from from this COVID, you know, and then again COVID now don't begin go up, especially in the UK, fifty percent rise in one week. So obviously you know people can get right for be a bit conscious, you know, cautious and very very, uh, if you like, you know, uh, uh, itchy or touchy about what's in the go on. So therefore we choose them topic here way important to everybody. And I make you want for learn a guide with. When I give you the topic that will officially be of importance, but let me go forward and, and, and research and come back to now and give you the you know the information we need. Now I make next two weeks na na sickle cell with a very important sickness. Uh, now we're going to talk about by God's grace and we get a guest speaker who will come. So the more people they attend, the better it could it could be for we all. And I think say we all probably could get one or two members of the family where we know say either get the trait or get the sickness and how you go actually continue your lifestyle in lifespan, which you go do, how, which can cure then get and all that. I think it's vitally important. So me, I can't wait because this woman, I work that, a specialist on that topic there. So I really want for learn from her. And I think say everybody else will get the same kind of attitude. So thank you so much. Let not take on the time. I'm grateful for this. And, but remember one thing, well body, now in better past gentry. Without well body, no matter how you gentry, believe you me, now, it, 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 the, the sickness will take care of you. And of course, the money all when you get, now in that. They go just turn, but the sickness still continues. So remember, prevention is better than cure. Now I make the well body, the better pass gentry. Thank you so much, and God bless we all. Thank you very much, Dr. Kamal. So if I'm with them, I all thank you, thank you for all I take on our time and join with today. We'll go see you again in a fortnight. What's not to see that the Facebook page we also get a YouTube page. I don't put the links them on the chat. Please, when I follow them pages in day, so at least when I subscribe to them, so at least when I will know when the latest material gets uploaded. And also, it will serve as a reminder for all and not forget for join me again. So till we meet again in a fortnight, on a good night to everybody. Better part, gently. Bye bye. All right. Let's stop.